It would be the honor and the privilege of my life to lead the dedicated women and men of the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection in the work that they do every day to make the air that New Jerseyans breathe clean, to give us clean water to drink, and safe and healthy places to live and work. It is now my extraordinary pleasure to introduce to you our next commissioner of the Department of Environmental Protection, Catherine McCabe. Commissioner McCabe, Catherine, it is my honor to join with your colleagues, friends, and family in congratulating you on your retirement and thanking you for your dedicated service to the great state of New Jersey. When you and I started out on this journey, we knew we had our work cut out for us, that's for sure. For far too long in New Jersey state government, climate change was a forbidden phrase. Polluters were not held responsible for their impact on natural resources. And our environmental justice communities desperately needed help to protect their neighborhoods and improve public health. So thanks to your guidance and the work of DEP's incredible public servants, scientists, engineers, biologists, foresters, park stewards, permit writers, grant makers, and policy minds alike, we have made extraordinary change. In just three years, your vision and leadership have moved our administration's goals toward a New Jersey that protects its people, air, land, water, wildlife, and most importantly, our future. And at the same time, you and the DEP have made New Jersey literally the nation's role model in environmental protection. States everywhere are turning to our example in protecting against climate change or safeguarding our water and promoting environmental justice. The change that you have helped bring to New Jersey will have a lasting impact. And it has been my privilege to count you as a trusted colleague and partner in these endeavors. 50 years from now, when clean energy is the only energy and our grandchildren can live safer in the face of a changing climate, people will look back at this time and see that this was the beginning of something truly groundbreaking. First Lady Tammy Murphy and I send you, Catherine, our very best wishes for your retirement and we hope we stay close. New Jersey's loss is your family's gain and we hope you enjoy this precious time with your grandchildren. Thank you again, Catherine, for making the Garden State stronger, fairer, and greener for every New Jersey. God bless you all. Catherine, on behalf of all of DEP, I want to say thank you for changing this place, for imbuing all of us with your compassion and your patience, your commitment to science and law, and the deep engagement that you expect with the public, with all of our constituencies, our critics, and our supporters alike. Your kind and thoughtful leadership has set an example for all of us. And it is something that I will carry with me for the rest of my career. Thank you for taking a chance on me and for helping all of us imbue what you bring into the culture of DEP. It has changed us for the better and for good. Commissioner McCabe, I thank you for the opportunity to learn from you, and I wish you the best in your retirement and with your grandbabies. Thank you. We will miss you. Catherine, three years ago, you and I joined Governor Murphy on a shared mission to breathe life back into the state's environmental enforcement program and to begin for the first time an enforcement program that focused on environmental justice too. On the eve of your retirement, I have just one thing to say, mission accomplished. Working together, our departments have pushed forward an unprecedented affirmative agenda. We went after the state's largest polluters through our natural resource damage cases 
We took on companies that sold super polluting cars. We filed over 30 actions in EJ communities. But more than just the work we did together, it's been a real pleasure getting to know you these three years. I know your commitment to the environment is real, as is your commitment to the Garden State. And I know that we will both miss you and your leadership. I hope you enjoy a well-earned retirement and spend the time that you deserve with your children and grandchildren. So once again, congratulations, Catherine. I wish you nothing but the best in your retirement.